Hey everybody, and welcome to the first episode of my Rise and Fall of Empire series. As you can tell by looking here, this first episode will be about the Kingdom of Italy. But before we can talk about Italy itself, we need to talk about the Kingdom of Sardinia. So, this is a map of the Kingdom of Sardinia, shown in green, and this is its flag. Look, the Kingdom of Sardinia was also known as Sardinia Piedmont. But... Anyways, the Kingdom of Sardinia was the leading force behind Italian unification on unified Italy. After Italy unified, this is the beginning of the Kingdom of Italy. But note, this flag map is not entirely accurate, as some of the northeastern part was controlled by the Austrian Empire at this time, but this would all change with the Austro-Prussian War. After the Austro-Prussian War, those little northeastern territories would become Italian. But Italy still wasn't quite done with Austria yet, which they would let out in the First World War. As you can see, we have Italy's flag, shown in yellow. Italy fought, would fight alongside the Allied powers in the war, and thus got a nice piece of Austria after the war. Which most of which would be South Tyrol and Trinito. Well, they also did get some more territories that would that they would eventually lose after the Second World War. But these were the main territories that they wanted. But then, shortly after World War One, the Fascist Party took power. This was the Fascist Party's flag. So note, this would not become the official flag of Italy due to the populace of the of Italy not wanting this to be the flag. So it still remained the same as the Kingdom of Italy's originally. The fascist party was quick to annex Albania, but this is basically where the rise of Italy ends. And we're about to move into their downfall with World War II. So territories they controlled before the Second World War began are shown in red, and territories they captured during the war are shown in pink. And with this, you can see that Italy did do pretty good, but most with their pink, with their occupations in pink, between British Somaliland, parts of Kenya and Sudan, West Egypt, Tunisia, some of France, most of Yugoslavia and most of Greece. But don't be f deceived or fooled. Italy ha didn't have much capability to pull any of this off. It had all help of the German ally, which would eventually lead to its downfall after the US joined the war with the North African campaign and pushed Italy out of Africa. This would lead to the Allied landing in Sicily. Which is, this, which is that small island that is controlled by Italy, that's, but it's below the Italian peninsula. Yeah, the Allies landed there. After that, Italy collapsed. Its government was gone. And the Allies continued to push up north into the southern half of the Italian peninsula. But the northern half was occupied by Nazi Germany and turned into a puppet known as the Italian Social Republic, and here, here it is. But eventually, Nazi Germany, along with its puppets, which included the Italian Social Republic, was defeated, and then eventually Japan was defeated. World War II came to an end. And with that, the Cold War began. As you can see, Italy is here in blue, as they were a capitalist country during the war. But... At the very beginning of the Cold War, the Kingdom of Italy held a referendum where they'd either choose to stay a kingdom or become a democracy. The democracy won the votes by an overwhelming percent, and the Kingdom of Italy ceased to exist. This has been the end of the first episode. Now, don't forget in the comments to, p to put, tell me which empire you'd like me to do next. But until then, we'll see you next time.